this will increase the exposure to COVID-19 to students, teachers, and families in Baltimore. We must act now. 200 East North Avenue, headquarters for Baltimore City Public Schools, but on Wednesday, it was the site of a student strike demanding school officials to delay reopening classrooms for in-person learning. For these reasons and the demands of our teachers, such as vaccines, ventilation upgrades, and others, we ask for students to do virtual learning from home as we've been doing since March. It was organized by a group of students and joined by city and health officials who say the district has no full-time nurses in any of its schools. This decision has had consequences throughout the years and during a pandemic. We are starting to see that nurses are certainly needed more so than ever. The demands we just heard were extremely reasonable, right? They're asking about decent transportation, to get them to school. The group also wants the district to invest in digital equity, provide full-time nurses with adequate resources, and give students a break from standardized tests. The protests come after the school district earlier this month decided to delay the launch of expanded in-person learning options for some students in the second semester until the first two weeks of March. One of the primary or core functions or pillars of the CDC reopening plan is to develop a plan in collaboration with students, teachers, families, and parents. And city schools has not done that. And school officials will give an update on their reopening plan early next month. Live in East Baltimore tonight, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV, 11 News.